You're actually alive. Hi, everybody. Look, there's a block on the team. So we have this, you know, suppression of medicine. We have the cosmology, right? We have Christianity stomping out Galileo. That's a pretty famous story. Hopefully everybody in the audience is aware of that. Uh, and more recently we have the suppression of evolution. We have the creationist movement, the ID, ID movement, and Christians have spent tons and tons of money on this creationist museum and this discovery institute and stuff, but for all the money they've spent, they haven't succeeded in suppressing science. And that's clearly the goal uh, right here, right? So, but in God 3.0, suppression of science is nearly complete, right? Islam is now considered a scientific desert, right? So they've succeeded. Yes, uh, uh, Arabia was the center for science in the, world, uh, in the world for a few years, but Islam successfully snuffed that out. Which right? is a shame. You know how much religion has set us back? Oh, years and years. Starting with the Pythagoreans, whose superstitious views on religion kept them, uh, had them have all of their mathematics kept secret because they discovered that the square root of two was an irrational number and this was too dangerous for the public to learn about. So we lose out on all their mathematical knowledge and it's centuries and centuries later that we have to make up. Then you've got the, the Library of Alexandria. Oh, well, there's Archimedes too. Yeah. You know, the suppression of integral calculus was right. invented like 2,000 two, uh, years ago, you know, and... And it was all lost because they decided to use the, the paper it was written on for a prayer book. Yep. And then the Library of Alexandria is completely destroyed. Um, th this wonderful, Hypatia. beautiful, yeah. intelligent Hypatia, who was the, the librarian there um, and who was brilliant, and, and there were all these volumes of books, um, is killed and the library is burned down by a guy who gets to be a saint. Yeah. A saint. Yeah. Are you kidding me? The best and Set us back another thousand or so years, and now you, as you, as you move up and we start making ground, then you get into what's going on now where you've got the Arabic world, who, by the way, um, when you write numbers, most of you who are watching the show and those that appear right up there, um, those are Arabic numbers. Yeah, I mean, because, zero, zero was an Arabic invention. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. You know how much quicker we could have been at the moon? You know how much quicker we could have solved a lot of problems? You know, if we're, if we're, let's say, 50 to 100 years out from a cure for cancer, then cancer could have been cured almost 1,000 years ago. Now, I realize that's a little bit of speculation about progress, but they, religion has set us back in all of those areas repeatedly. It's like, whoa, oh, you guys can't get that far out there. We're not ready to catch up to you. We that's have to right. keep we, reducing we, ourselves our, our to the least common denominator. Don't, don't explain your reality, so we have to suppress it. That's, that's kind of the thinking, I think. <laughs> So, so back to Islam, uh, you know, Islam, uh, despite its, its advanced state at one time, uh, unfortunately in, in the 1700s a puritanical form of Islam took root and, and decided that um, any knowledge acquired after the first 300 years of Islam's existence should, is, is, is an anathema, right? So, so they want to be in the Dark Ages, right? And they've succeeded, I think. Um, and that all knowledge can be found in the Quran, all the knowledge that's worth learning. Uh, male children are sent to madrasas to learn the Quran and very little else. So that's that's how they maintain their their suppression of science. And uh, uh, the female children are going to go off and learn how to be heads of households or run the household, I guess. So such a thing, uh, such a thing, the suppression of science would be the envy of any Christian leader who would want schools to have their holy book taught in schools. I mean, this is the, something to emulate, something to, to, to jump.